Okay, so in this video, I want to investigate what this is on an argand diagram. So the argument of z is equal to pi over 4. Now, we understand what it means to say that the argument of a complex number is pi over 4. That's saying that the angle that the complex number makes with the positive real axis is pi over 4. So let's visualise it. So here's your real axis, an imaginary axis. Now, if I'm saying that all of the complex numbers that I'm considering have the argument pi over 4, then you're talking about any point that's along that line there, right? So um, could be any point that is along this line that is making this angle of pi over 4 with the positive real axis. Apart from, of course, right, apart from the origin, where we know it's undefined, OK, the argument of the origin is undefined, and it's not including the line going on down here, OK, because that part of the line doesn't make an argument of pi over 4, because that is the angle minus 3 pi over 4, OK, all that bit. So I'm not including that. So we can not worry about that bit. OK. So this is a half line from, uh, but not including, Uh, zero, uh, yeah, zero plus zero i, okay, or just zero um, at an angle of pi over four with the positive real axis. So really, what it's saying is that any any complex number that makes an argument of pi over 4 uh, is included. And that means it's any point that is along that line apart from the origin. OK? And we refer to it as a half line. Now, back when we were doing circles a few videos ago, we then were able to pick up and move our circle to any point on the Argand diagram that we'd like to center it. You can do precisely the same uh, with this as well. So if I replaced the z with z take away z1, OK, equals pi over 4. And let's say z1 is equal to a plus bi, OK? Then now, on my argand diagram, here is the point a plus bi, OK? And it's a half line that's making the angle pi over 4 with the positive real axis. So it'll look something like this, where that angle is pi over 4. So it's just this half line. And it's no longer. Um, starting at 0 plus 0i, it's starting at a plus bi, OK? Um, and it's not including the a plus bi, because if you were at z1, you'd have the argument of 0 again, which is undefined. So this is a half line uh, from, but not including, z1 at an angle of pi over 4 with the positive real axis. OK? So this is what you need to consider. Now, um, as I said, if the angle that you've got there is negative, then you know that it's actually going to be going down here. OK, it's going to be below the real axis. And if it's positive, then you're up here. OK, um, and they're the lines that you're going to be able to draw. So when we're talking about the argument of z equaling 
uh, an angle, we're looking at half lines.